Hi, I'm Stuart from computerrepairkent.co.uk and today we're going to be looking at an antivirus for your machine. There's lots out there that are cost you a bomb really or cost you quite a bit a year. Um, however, I've got one that will cost you absolutely nothing and it's also from Microsoft. Uh, all you need to do is go to your Google, go to the search engine, start typing Microsoft. Okay as I started typing in it's also protected what I wanted to search for and yes it's also come up with it it's Microsoft Security Essential so let's just click on that and then we go to that website and it's been a bit slow at the moment okay what it's doing is now asking what version do I want to download uh, the version I want to download well I'm not sure if I've got need a 32-bit or 64-bit However, we can easily check this. All we need to do is just go to the Start menu, right-click on com Computer, and it has to be a right-click, and you're going to get the properties here. Okay, and then as you can see here, the system type is 64-bit operating system. Okay, so we now know that I need a 64-bit version. 64-bit, and free download. Okay, and it's now asking me to download that. So just click Save. And because I'm in Firefox, I'll get the box pop up saying it's downloading it. In the other browsers, may download it to your desktop or another download location. And once it's downloaded, we just need to double click on it like any other EXE installation program. Okay. Okay, and then it's all the gobbledygook, all the uh, agreement licenses, and so on like that. Next, next. Okay, if you're worried about privacy, just don't, just click on I do not want to join the program at this time. If you're not too worried about privacy, then it's just going to send off information about the viruses you've got. No more information than that. So whatever one you prefer. I, I prefer to have my privacy. So I click Next. And if no firewall is turned on, then turn it on. Yes, we want that. And now it's just going to install. Okay, it's now asking, does it want? To, do I want it to scan my computer as well as get the latest updates from Microsoft? Yes, I do. So I click finish. Okay, it, at the moment you can see it's saying my computer's at risk because it is. But what it's going now is going and getting the latest update file of the internet to make sure that my computer's up to date. These update files it goes and gets them every now and then, and what they do, they just tell the computer about new viruses that come out. Uh, just to let you little know a little bit about Microsoft Secure Essential, yes it is from Microsoft, yes it is free, you will never need to pay for it whatsoever, and it also gives you protection in real time. What this means is that as you're working on your computer, you're writing documents or downloading documents from emails, it's also checking them files all the time. So every time a new file opens on your computer, it checks them. You don't need to do anything with Microsoft Security Essential, once it's installed like it is now, that's it. All you need to do is click on that box there just to get rid of it. And that's it. It's protecting my computer. I don't need to do anything more. Just to let you know a little bit more about it as well is that here it is down in the bottom uh, right hand corner of my taskbar. If I ever want to get in there I just double click on it and it will open up the box. And as you can see at the moment it's doing a scan. If I cancel the scan you can see that this is what it's going to look like most of the time just a, a, like a green castle with a tick and if I hover over it it says my computer is protected if I am ever worried that I have a virus I can just double click on it open up the antivirus box and just click full scan and scan now if it is the first time you've installed it then it will, uh, it will do a quick scan anyway so there's nothing more we need to do that's it just close it down and walk away I hope you like this tutorial and I hope it's been some help. If you do like it, please like it or please follow me on Facebook. My website is www.computerrepairkent.co.uk. Take care. Cheers.